How's it going, brothers and sisters in Christ? Um, this is Brother D, Biblical Truth Central, and I have a, I got a message that the Lord put on my heart, and I'm going to be in the book of Matthew, Matthew 5, and we're going to go all the way down to verse 44 here, okay? Um, this is a teaching on loving our enemies, like, have you ever wondered, like, why did Jesus say love your enemies? Why did he say pray for your enemies? I, I think I have an answer for that question. Um, but I say love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. That is probably one of the hardest things as a Christian for us to do. Forgiving people who hurt us, praying for people who use us and who lie on us, that's a very hard thing for us to do. But I believe I know why the Lord told us we need to do that. Um, understand that when you're not saved, you are open for all kinds of demonic activity. You are open for all kinds of spiritual warfare. You are an open vessel that can be possessed by any wicked spirit. If you are not saved by the Holy Spirit of God. And Jesus is telling us to pray for our enemies. To pray for those who persecute us. To love them. Because they are under serious spiritual demonic possession. Let's go to Ephesians 6. I often refer back to this when I when I think about people, when I think about why they act the way they do and why they're the way they are. I always go back to Ephesians 6, 12. And it says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark, in this dark world and against spiritual evil spirits in heavenly places. King James says spiritual wickedness in high places. So the take home is we're not fighting against flesh and blood. It's not against people. It's not against the loved ones that we care about. It's not against our friends. It's not against our co-workers. It's not against our neighbors. It's not flesh and blood, but it's, it's, it's the spiritual oppression that they're under. Okay, this, the evil spirits in heavenly places, the fallen angels, the, the, the spirits, the, the demonic spirits that came down with Lucifer. You know, these are the individuals that are possessing those that we love and that we care about. So this is why Jesus told us to pray for our enemies. This is why he told us to pray for those who persecute us because they are not saved and they need to be saved or they're going to go to hell. I repeat, anybody who is not saved by the blood of Jesus Christ and you don't bear fruits, you will go to hell. Make no mistake. Get saved. Saints, this is why we need to pray for those who, who persecute us. This is why. This is why we need to do that. You know, we are to pray for our enemies and, and love them. I know that's hard. I know that's difficult. Um, but we don't want to see them go to hell either. We don't want to see them get lost. We don't want to see them fall into everlasting fire and the blackness of darkness. Uh, we don't want that. We want to see our brothers and sisters get saved. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in in keeping people at a certain distance. Keep them at a certain distance, but at the same time, you know, keep them in prayer. Keep them in prayer. That the Lord may do something in their life to bring them out of their wickedness. Amen. Pray for your enemies. God bless.